Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today to look at another Bible passage together. Today's Bible reading is known as the Transfiguration. This word means transform or change and it's where Jesus goes up a mountain with his special friends once more but this time something wonderful happens. Let's read the passage and find out what it is. Matthew 17 verses 1 to 9. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James and John, the brother of James, up on a high mountain. They were all alone there. While they watched, Jesus was changed. His face became bright like the sun and his clothes became white as light. Then two men were there talking with him. The men were Moses and Elijah. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you want, I will put three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was talking, a bright cloud covered them. A voice came from the cloud. The voice said, This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Obey him. The followers with Jesus heard the voice. They were so frightened that they fell to the ground. But Jesus went to them and touched them. He said, stand up, don't be afraid. When the followers looked up, they saw Jesus was now alone. When Jesus and the followers were coming down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, don't tell anyone about the things you saw on the mountain. Wait until the Son of Man has been raised from death, then you may tell. Hi, Scorch. Hi, and wow, that would be really scary. Yes, I think so too, but also amazing. Imagine if we had been there when that happened. Uh, why did it happen? Well, we don't know for sure. But some people think it was God showing who Jesus really was to his special friends, the disciples. Jesus is God's son and part of God, so his glory shone out. But who are the other two people? Moses and Elijah were the two greatest prophets in the Old Testament. What's a prophet? A prophet is someone who is able to tell us what God wants us to hear. So they speak on God's behalf. Moses was the guy who went up the mountain and received the Ten Commandments from God, written on the tablets, so he was all about the laws and reminding us what we should and what we shouldn't do. He also led God's people out of slavery in Egypt. Oh yeah, I don't know that story, because they walked on miles in the desert, didn't they? Yes, they did, and then God led them to the Promised Land. And Elijah, why is he special? Well, Elijah was one of the main prophets. He spoke about the coming of Jesus hundreds of years before baby Jesus arrived and also told us what Jesus would be like. Oh, yes, I remember now. What, what were they, ghosts or something? Well, we don't know, but you can see now why Peter wanted to do something to protect Moses, Elijah and Jesus. And... And how they all seemed so frightened to hear God speaking from the cloud. Yes, it was a real experience meeting God on that mountain and one they weren't going to forget in a hurry, which is how we can get to read about it all these years later. Hundreds of years later, actually. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to God now. Lord Jesus, we are thankful that we can see you in the beautiful world around us. We can feel you in the loving actions of others. We can hear you when we read your teaching in the Bible. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Amen. And let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. See you again soon. Goodbye.